Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekend tarot messages. These are messages where we look at the potential or the energies that are around you for the next few days because these readings can resonate a few days longer than when they are released and they won't be for everyone. That's fine. Just take what resonates with you as always. So I wish you a happy Easter for those of you celebrating Easter and let's get straight into these readings. Leo, let's see what we have for you. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And I am using the Druid Tarot deck for those of you who are interested. Okay, what do we have for Leo, please? Message for our lovely Leos. Princess of Wands or the Page of Wands. Seven of Swords, The Magician, interesting, oh, Princess of Pentacles, so here's the thing Leo, I have this energy going on in the middle which is all about action and then I have the results of that, results of your action coming in. I mean, both of these cards are good news. The pentacles and the wands energy together can be very good in terms of business, career, enterprise in particular. Um, not limited to that clearly, but it is about the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. You might be choosing between two opportunities or two paths on this energy as well. It might well be what you've been manifesting, Leo, you know. Uh, you might be over-manifesting <laughs> in the sense that really working your magic. Uh, it might well be that you get more than one kind of like door opening for you, more than one path to pursue. So for that, for some of you, that could be the energy here. For others of you, these two could go together. Uh, but the magician is generally appears when it is time to take action when there's something to focus on that you need to turn around, that you need to transform, that you need to take an idea and make it real, uh, turn base metal into gold, uh, turn negative to positive, an idea to reality, and so on and so forth. So you're the alchemist. Um, you might be overworking your magic and your charisma, <laughs> but there's definitely an energy of certainly working your magic and doing it in a secret way, but in what benefits you, what serves you. You know, the Seven of Swords is absolutely you need to keep your cards close to your chest. So even if you feel inclined to tell somebody about what you're doing, uh, this is absolutely an energy of secrecy is key. Uh, keep your own counsel. That will serve you better in this transformation. Um, because this is about focusing on an end result here what you want to transform in your situation. There could be an opportunity that you want to manifest or um, something that you want to put into practice here or want to transform your circumstances. The Seven of Swords comes up, you know, in business, career, financial terms, when we don't want our current employer to know that we're pursuing new opportunities a lot of the time because it would obviously jeopardize your current circumstances. So this is secretly manifesting something here but because it serves you to be secretive right now, but really putting some kind of strategy in place. And it, it feels in this energy to pursue something new or to pursue new options even. Now the Page of Wands and the Princess of Wands, interestingly enough, you might be going on some kind of, now I, I will, let's, in, in, in normal terms, you know, uh, in straightforward terms, the page of pentacles can be, and the page of princess of wands can be about news to do with opportunity. So very good in terms of business, finance, career, enterprise, you might have a choice between two, you might have a choice between what your heart and soul wants, and what the sensible option is as well. So that might well be for some of you. Like I said, you're just overworking your magic for some of you. Uh, so these are really good news energies either way. It just feels really beautiful. Could even be together they form some new concrete opportunity that you are absolutely inspired to take action towards a new path. So for some of you, it just feels this energy here of 
the newest opening up for you. Very good in terms of business, career, enterprise. Now, Leo, these cards can also be about beginning something, um, giving something a go, trying something out, going on a new adventure. You could even be starting your own YouTube channel. Uh, there's definitely an energy here of learning as you go along, uh, but absolutely taking steps on manifesting something. So it might well be a second job. It might well be for some of you a second if re a second or potential second revenue stream. Um, it just feels like you're doing this on the quiet. So this can be the energy about starting something new up. Uh, you'll be learning as you go along, but there's definitely an energy here of real potential. Um, the, the, this path really holds great potential and positive growth. So I will say that about you, about this Leo, that is the energy that I'm getting here. So maybe, like I said, maybe just doing something on the quiet, setting something up. And it generally is, sometimes we take steps, for example, if it was a YouTube channel, it might well be something that you long term consider doing full time. But at the moment, it might well be just a secondary thing that you're giving it a go. Again, like I said, it could be second job, second income, pursuing something on that basis. Um, yeah, setting something new up just feels really exciting. That's what I have for you. Final message for Leo, please. Final message for Leo. Thank you. We've got penguin diamond light activation. Light activations and new energies are coming your way. Be open to receive and welcome them in. That's lovely with this reason, this reading. We have sea turtle conservation, make conscious choices. Flamingo unity heart, you are being called on to work on collective healing. And we have, and this might be to, to improve your life for the better long term in that healing energy. And we have crane surrender, let go of limiting beliefs, be as expansive in your thoughts as your soul is. Yeah, this is any doubts or fears that you have in starting something new or giving something new a go. This is about don't let fear get the better of you. Just, just give it a go. It's that kind of energy. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.